Hi friends, Dr. Tim Garcia coming to you once again from my chiropractic wellness center. And today I want to talk about the fast food dilemma. And you know, for its convenience, you know it's late, it's the end of the day, and you thought, you think maybe I'll just stop by and get a, a quick bite to eat so I don't have to cook, feed the kids, etc. And it's because it's so convenient. But you think, what's the harm? And trust me, because seemingly everybody's doing it, doing the wrong things, that doesn't make it right. You may think because everybody's doing it, it's okay. It's not okay. It's never the right answer because it's very harmful to your health. What's the harm? Well, there's a toxic food environment. Everywhere we look for convenience and everything that it's easy to put something in a in the microwave or a fast food stop and that's never the answer because the convenience may be one factor but your health risks far outweigh the convenience in my opinion. So the toxic food environment um, and there's an overabundance of bad unhealthy choices all the time from chips to sodas to, to snacks to candy bars at restaurants and so quickly I'm just gonna go through some of these things the advertising concerns that give us the idea that it's okay that McDonald's is alright do you remember Joe Camel the smoker uh, the it was a, a cigarette commercial and uh, it was it was yanked well there's a concern that uh, that Joe Camel and Ronald McDonald are equally as bad that Ronald McDonald is causing as much damage as perhaps Joe Camel did. Dr. Brannell uh, talks to us that that is, uh, we're trying to get our kids to do these things and so it's up to the parents and up to me in getting this message out that it's not okay and I'm not perfect but I want to tell you as, as long as you're doing 85 percent the right thing you should be all right and it's a lot of people go to the McDonald's all the time or fast food all the time so it's, we have a Western culture of convenience, and, but it, all this convenience stuff is high fat, high sugar, high calorie, and, you know, with no regards to the future health. It's not okay. Trans fats, as you know, is not good for you. It can give you a lot of problems with your arteries and your heart. Uh, heart disease and concerns for that. It makes trans fats for its shelf life and it makes the hydrogen oil turn into a, a semi-solid so people target the cholesterol for for a heart disease risk and so but there's other ingredients in fast food so try to make a change Wendy's quit putting uh, trans fat as of 2006 uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken have ceased their use of trans fat. McDonald's says they're gonna use another fat. But there's a cancer risk eating this stuff. Cancer risk, physicians for Committee of Responsible Medicine filed suit against many restaurants here in California. And because these restaurants are knowingly serving carcinogens, cancer-causing chemicals in their food. And here are the ones that are on uh, being sued. It's McDonald's, it's Burger King, Chick-fil-A, Chili's, Applebee's, At Outback Steakhouse, and TGI Fridays. So uh, there is carcinogens called PHIP that is in grilled chicken and it's served all the time. One would think that, oh, chicken's healthy. Well, think again. Other issues with chicken besi besides this carcinogen this with pesticides and, and hormones and antibiotics. That's why there's such a big push for organic you hear these days. And so there's a known carcinogen in these um, fried foods and high fat foods. That's why folks get sick. So what do we do? Just say no. What you do want to try to do is prepare your food perhaps early on and you know it's too easy to get to fall into the pressure because so many people are doing it but you must resist if you want your health go to the deli you can pick up stuff at the deli already made and it's much healthier roasted chicken there's a ton of salads there's veggies and much better way to go prep veggies and you can make a menu as well and prep day one day and just have it ready to go 
that way you're at the ready you don't have to worry about it of course it takes effort of course it takes time but in the long run much better for you and so you prepare the meats and well slow cooker is another thing you could slow cook things take off come back and it'll be ready to go so another concern for health and wellness I want to get this information out to you my community dr tim garcia coming to you from my wellness center if you have any questions don't hesitate to contact us we're here to help